Hi everyone. This is a Hatha and Yin based class. We're going to be doing a lot of postures that we hold for at least a minute long. So you're going to need a strap for this practice or a belt and then make your way down onto your back. Once you're lying on your back, hug your knees into your chest. And then from here, we're taking feet down to the sides of the mat with the knees bent. Relax your arms and shoulders and take a few rolls of the thighs and the knees from left to right. Be aware of your breath. As you exhale, rolling the legs down. As you inhale, bringing them back up to center. And each time you breathe out, Melt into your back, melt into your spine, sinking the shoulders, upper back, middle back, and the lower back. And now next time your knees lift up to center, we we'll step the feet in, hip distance apart. You're going to bring your right ankle onto your left thigh, just a little bit above the knee on the thigh. Press your right knee and thigh away from your body with your right hand. And now we want to keep that leg moving away from you as you drop your left knee over to the floor on the left. So the right knee is still pointing up. This is the difference. This is what a lot of people do. They drop the knee down and then you lose the outer hip stretch here. Point your knee and your thigh and your shin all the way up. And maybe the right foot can get to the floor. Maybe it can't. Maybe it's just your toes hanging down. Or maybe you can get your right foot flat on the ground. If you're a little bit more open, you might want to hold onto your right ankle or foot with your left hand. But don't drop that right knee towards your left shoulder. And now relax the arms, relax the shoulders. Let your eyes close. Notice your breath as it flows through you. And notice how you are being breathed. You are not breathing. Some unknown force is breathing life through you right now. Allow yourself to soften and to surrender into that flow of breath moving through you. Each out breath, feel the right side of your pelvis sink down towards the mat. Relax your throat and relax your neck. Sinking deep into the back of your skull. Now carefully lifting your legs up to center, step feet to the mat and change over, taking left ankle to right thigh. Pause there a moment, press the left thigh and the left knee away from you. Relax your left shoulder. And then rolling the right knee to the right towards the floor, dropping the left foot over. Again, don't drop this left knee towards the ground, 
press it up towards the sky, maybe holding onto that left ankle or foot with your right hand. Let's sink the left shoulder all the way down. Melt into the left waist and ribs. And relax into your arms again. Feel your eyelids soften. The cheeks relax and release. For me, lying on the floor is always such a reassuring thing to do. Feeling held by Mother Earth beneath you. Allowing yourself to surrender into her arms and just be held, just be nurtured in this moment. Right now, in this moment, there is nothing that you can do about anything off your mat. Allow your mind to loosen its grasp on your thoughts. Loosening your grasp on whatever's going on in your life right now. And just allowing yourself be still. And now very carefully lifting back up to center. Taking your left foot down to the floor. We're going to stretch legs out on the mat. Whole body straight. Starting with the feet touching. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left leg. So maybe it's foot to inside of the ankle. Or the calf. Or the inner knee. Or maybe even a little bit higher. So your foot is to the inner thigh. Just wherever it feels right for you. Don't let that inner groin feel too tight. Let the legs sink. Relax the left foot. Relax your shoulders. And now reach your arms over your head. Elbows can bend. And you're going to curve your body like a banana towards your right knee. So moving your shoulders towards the right side of your mat opening up that left waist and the left ribs and now either just relaxing the arms like that or holding onto the left hand or wrist or forearm with your right hand and just pull over a little bit more lengthen out that left side body a bit more so your arms might lift slightly here as you pull but we're not going to stay like that now let your left shoulder and armpit drop back. Let the arms relax once more. The eyes can close. Feeling your whole body soften into the shape. Your sleeping tree pose. Tree pose when we stand is all about grounding, connecting to the earth, being rooted, grounded, and still. Trees are incredibly patient things. They live long lives and they don't move anywhere. 
they just move within their grounded space. So allowing yourself to feel that grounded tree energy. If this is our sleeping tree. So we're resting within that grounding. Now very carefully, you're going to move your upper body back to center. Keep your right knee bent. Lift that right knee to point straight up. And from here, we're taking a twist. Rolling the right thigh over the left thigh. Press the right shoulder flat into the floor. Left hand can be on that right leg or resting on the ground. And now bend the right elbow and turn your right palm up towards the sky. Either pointing your nose straight up or turning your chin gently towards your right shoulder. As you exhale, drop both shoulders deeper down into the floor beneath you. Soften the eyelids again. Relax over your cheekbones. Even soften into your ears. And now carefully rolling up to center. And stretch your right leg out from the ground next to your left leg. We're sliding the left foot up the inside of the right leg and your left foot might be in a completely different place on the inside of the leg than you were on the other side with the right foot and the inside of the left leg and that's fine. Right foot can relax but don't let the baby toe flop over too much. Softening the chest. And now taking your arms over your head and curving your left waist towards your left thigh and knee. So we're bending like a weeping willow tree bending over a river. And either staying there with the arms relaxed or holding onto right wrist or hand with your left hand and pulling the right side body a little bit longer. Just going a little bit deeper into that stretch. Once you've done that, relax your body. Let the right upper arm sink down again. Melt your right armpit towards the floor. And let your eyes close. With each out breath, Sinking down deeper into the spine, deeper into your back body. With each out breath, allowing yourself to release on all levels of your being, physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually just breathing out whatever it is you need to let go of right now and if you feel you can't fully let go just loosening your grasp sometimes we hold on to things very tightly it takes a while to fully be able to let go. That's okay. Very 
gently moving your upper body back to center, bringing your arms down and rolling the left knee to point up. We're moving into our twist, rolling the left thigh over the right thigh, maybe resting your right hand on your leg, maybe resting your arm on the floor. Then bending your left elbow and turning your left palm up to the sky. Notice the places that are feeling tight in this pose. And invite them to soften. Melting into that softness each time you exhale. Gently rolling yourself up to center again. And once more, you're going to hug your knees to your chest. Maybe gently rock sideways. And now dropping your feet down to the mat, hip distance apart. And once more, you're going to bring your right ankle to your left thigh and press that right knee away from you. And now we're going to lift the left leg and stretch your left leg straight up. Maybe your knee will be a bit bent, that's fine. You're holding onto the left leg with hands. Or if your shoulders and your head lift too much and your neck is tight, you can always take your strap around the back of your leg and hold onto the strap and pull the strap towards you. And now we're going to point and flex with the left foot with your breath. Either inhale to flex and exhale to point all the other way around. Just keep those shoulders relaxed. And now next time you point with the toes, holding that. Sink into your lower back, sink into the hips, and now pull your toes back, flex the ankle, and stretch the heel up. legs stay as they are, only bend your left knee and if you can you hold on to your shin or closer towards the ankle and maybe bring your left leg a little bit closer towards the left side of your body. Sink the shoulders again, relax your mouth, don't clench the teeth. And 
taking your left foot down to the ground and then the right foot and change to the other side, left ankle to right thigh. We're gently pressing that left leg away with the left hand. Stay there for a moment or two. Relax into the shoulders and the upper back again. And then lifting the right leg all the way up once more. Maybe the knee will straighten. Maybe it can't and that's fine. Maybe taking your strap around the back of that right leg, holding the strap evenly on each side. Or holding onto your thigh with your hands. Holding the thigh will lift the shoulders. So sink them down, let them soften and relax. We point and flex for that right foot and ankle. Moving with breath. One part of your breath, you point. The other part, you flex. Sinking down deep into the pelvis and the hips. Now next time you point your toes up, holding them like that. Sink the shoulders again. And then pulling the toes down, stretch your heel up. Stay aware of the breath as it rolls through your nose, through the back of the throat, noticing the rise and fall of your chest. And now bending that right knee deeply, either keep holding your thigh hold on to the shin and once more you can have the strap over your shin and maybe bringing your leg just a little bit closer towards your body soften the back of your neck soften the sides of the neck relax into your jaw and your throat. Gently releasing your right foot down to the mat, then take the left foot down. Sliding your feet in to touch each other. We're coming into Baddha Konasana. Now you don't have to have your feet really close to your body. They can be quite a way away from you. Hands can rest on the legs or on your torso or arms on the floor arms over your head. If the arms are over your head, make sure your elbows bend. Make sure that your body feels comfortable and you're able to stay here for a few minutes. Breathing softness into your forehead. Feel the muscles around your eyes and in your eye sockets. Allow yourself to loosen your grasp there, fully relaxing your eyes now.
as you lie here, notice the kinds of thoughts that you are having. Are they thoughts that are going to help you to relax and release? Or are you still clinging on to the thinking that's going to tighten you? Usually when we're stressed or worried or fearful, the body tightens. And that is an evolutionary reaction. If you're stressed or worried or frightened, usually it means that there's a threat and you need to move yourself somewhere to where there is no threat. So the body tightens in preparation for action. Right now you have nowhere to go. So if you're thinking thoughts that are going to make you stressful, make you worried, make you fearful, your body will tighten. But that's confusing for your nervous system because you have nowhere to go. And that tightening is pointless and yet it still happens. Right now, whether you worry or stress or afraid, there's nothing you can do about that. So allow yourself to loosen your grasp in your mind so that your body can soften and loosen its grasp. Now you're going to stretch your legs straight down the mat and let the feet flop. If your arms were over your head, bring them down your sides or hands onto your body. And just let the legs relax. Guide your thoughts to think things that make you feel good. Think about the people you love or who love you. The things that you like to do in your life. The places that you like to go to. Those are thoughts that serve you. And they are thoughts that will relax your body. Now bending into your knees, place your feet on the ground, hip distance apart with the knees bent, get your strap or your belt and we're taking that strap or belt over the right foot. Are you going to reach up with your left hand and hold on to your strap and drop the right arm to the ground. Like you did earlier, drop the left knee over towards the floor on the left and then take your right leg over your body. Press the right shoulder and arm flat down into the ground. Stretch the right heel away from you. And once more, allow yourself to soften here.
lifting your right leg back up to center. Take your strap off, take the right foot down first, and then change, taking your strap over the left foot. So hold on with your right hand, drop the left shoulder and arm down. Gently take that right knee over to the right, and taking your leg over your body. Don't worry if that leg doesn't go too far over. Maybe your foot is quite high in the air, that's okay. Maybe the knee is bent, that's also fine. Just relax your neck, maybe gently rolling the head from side to side to help the neck soften. And fully melt down into that left arm, the left shoulder. Lifting your left leg all the way up, take your strap off, hugging your knees to your chest once more and either staying there and rocking or just hugging or taking yourself into happy baby. So with happy baby you want to have your heel straight up over your knee, you can hold the heel or the edges of the foot or the ankles or calves and if it feels good rocking side to side. And then centering yourself. Bring shins in and either rolling onto one side or very gently rocking yourself up to sitting. Thanks everyone. Namaste.